Welcome to the Pigs Fly Nurture Series. This is your source for marketing automation best practices. When you're finished here, feel free to check us out online at leadmd.com and visit our resources area. Enjoy. So the topic of this week's Pigs Fly Nurture Series is marketing automation myopia. It's actually a question that we see oftentimes as a marketing automation consultant uh, from our customers is what is the one area of marketing automation that's going to be the biggest win for them. Um, it's kind of a cautionary question. So there's definitely areas of marketing automation that yield huge success. Um, but the question in itself kind of raises some eyebrows within our organization. If, if you're not truly running an extensive sales and marketing process at this time, marketing automation software may not be the right move for you currently. Uh, if you have to extensively sell that to your higher ups within your organization, your CMO, your vice president of marketing, or if you are a CMO or vice president of marketing and you're looking to be sold on this concept, I would really caution and, and encourage you to take a step back and reevaluate where you're at within modern day B2B marketing process and determine if you're truly ready for that solution. The reason I say that is marketing automation is not a quick fix. It's not a magic bullet and it certainly doesn't occur overnight. Uh, next month we're not going to be experiencing a huge influx of leads because we made a technology purchase this month. It's simply a, a process that allows us to automate a lot of the manual practices that go into interaction with customers and, and future buyers. That requires that we really do have a, an extensively honed sales and marketing process, one that the entire organization is comfortable with and is, is currently working so that we're seeing results with. Market, the biggest win for marketing automation is the elimination of those manual pains within that process. How, am I pulling lists manually? Am I trying to interact with those uh, buyers and, and, and lead personas manually right now? If I'm not, I haven't really experienced a lot of the pain that marketing automation resolves. Um, it's really a great solution for marketers that are uh, seeing a lot of the challenges that we see within modern B2, B2B marketing, which is list segmentation, extensive lead follow-up, a lot of lead interaction. At LeadMD, we have over 100 campaigns firing daily. That's just something that we couldn't do with a manual process driving it on the back end, uh, at least not without a huge employee footprint. So if we've talked about how not to buy marketing automation or what not to expect from the software, what can we expect from marketing automation and, and, and what frame of mind should we be in when we approach a, a purchase of a software like marketing automation? Uh, really, you need to be in a, a frame of mind to where you're going to know it's going to take time to see results. Uh, our average implementation time uh, from a technology standpoint happens in less than 30 days. But in terms of results, we tend to see lead nurturing results around the six month mark. So that's important to remember. Uh, ultimately, one of the main benefits of marketing automation is its ability to stay engaged regardless of where the deal's at within the sales cycle. So unlike a sales rep who's going to cherry pick and, and make sure that they're focusing on their time where it, where it best belongs, which is rightfully so, marketing automation doesn't have that type of logic built in. It's not greedy, it doesn't get lazy, it simply does what we tell it to. So that's important to note, these leads that are engaged with a lead nurturing campaign may take a much longer time to come to fruition, but when they do, our cost per lead is diminished greatly by the fact that we haven't had human interaction uh, uh, hand-holding them throughout the entire process. So what to expect around the six month mark, we start to see lead nurturing really start to pay off. Uh, and around the 12 to 18 month mark, we see those big numbers that I've talked about in the past in relation to lead nurturing. 50, 60% of pipeline coming from nurtured deals. Uh, and in a typical organization that we engage with, that can mean uh, one, one and a half, two million dollars worth of revenue uh, on a monthly basis for technology providers, business service providers, the types of organizations that tend to really succeed with marketing automation. Thanks for joining us and feel free to check out our other Pigs Fly Nurture Series videos. When you're ready for more, visit us online at leadmd.com and click on our resources area.